Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, welcome to the night review. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure to subscribe, it's completely free and click the little bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. It's gonna be plenty of videos uh, of my new Tesla. So in this video, we're gonna take an in-depth tour of the exterior, interior details, a little bit of infotainment and show you those matrix LED headlights. It's gonna be a separate video of night point of view driving uh, where I'm gonna test also the matrix LED headlights outside the city, and their performance. And uh, if you already missed, there's a in-depth uh, day video where I show you all the new features of the Refresh 2.0, uh, all the new changes, and to our details, the most detailed review on internet. So if you're looking to buy one of these, you gotta check it out. And without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So everyone, here's my car. Now, as you can see, we have a LED street light and the classical street lights. So uh, this shows you how the car looks. So if I come to this side, you can see the white pearl color, uh, which is, in my opinion, the best looking. Uh, very gorgeous pearl white, and you can see it's more yellowish. Now, uh, since I don't have a key fob, I didn't order one and I didn't get one from Tesla. I'm thinking of ordering one because I like to have something. Um, I'll have to do some hacking in order to uh, show you the lights. So just a little walk around. Uh, it's starting to rain again. Hopefully it's not gonna, it's not gonna rain hard. Now, um, I'm going to unlock the car. So uh, one way to fool the car is, well, to use the infotainment, but let me just show these. So these are daytime running lights. This is the signature. And if we press on the settings here, turn the lights on. I'm gonna show you though. Wow, it's really starting to rain now. What a bad timing. But you can see the matrix LEDs, they're really bright. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut in video of the performance maybe. You can see the lens now uh, and the daytime running. Now you can see the rear lights, also signature. LED license plates are white. Let's show you the cargo space. So, you can see that from the side as well. Now, as mentioned before, these lights inside are not that bright at least when it comes to, to the interior part. Now it's a street light so you can see better. But what is good, when you open this, they do illuminate the interior part fairly good. Actually pretty excellent. Uh, this part doesn't illuminate. I thought so it doesn't illuminate. And this button is uh, very nicely illuminated. You can see those bright LED lights. So I'm gonna close it up like the rain is stopping so now I know the car is annoying but there's a reason why I want the lights on so just to show you when the lights are on look at this so they illuminate the front hood as you can see that and there's a lot of light reflecting inside as well. So you can see there's also a Tesla light here by the emergency button. So it illuminates this. So now I'm gonna turn off the lights. Actually, let me see. You can turn the turn signal as well. Just to show you. Ah, oh, oh, turn the other one by mistake. You can see how that looks. So it's a very short turn signal. You can see the side repeater and you can see the light here. Now, if I turn these lights off, going a little bit around, automatic. Now it's gonna stop freaking out. So now you can see it's not that bright, but still, I think there's a reflection from the street lights. So. Also very good. 
click, click, gently. Again, aluminium. And if I come closer, you can see the pearl color. There's rain now. And then on the other side, so on the white, it's just gorgeous. This car looks freaking amazing. So let's head inside. I know you're eager to check the interior. So there are puddle lights here and there is now this light for the compartments here. So this is only on uh, long range and performance in standard range plus it's not available. So this is part of the premium interior. As you can see, lights on the top, good illumination. I wish they added lights on the bottom there, but there is no. Put lights in the, below the seats, front seats, and oh, finally the rain has stopped. And you can see those puddle lights and then lights. Again, these lights are in the refresh 2.0. You can see how these illuminate opening buttons. And this is the look of the interior. Now, there are puddle lights on the front. That's a nice detail. So I like that because sometimes, you know, you can see where the pedals are. Now, close it up. Now I did wash the whole car and now the rain made it dirty again. Oh well, that's life. So, um, okay, we're gonna cover the screen in a moment just to show you we have lights on the steering wheel. These are also available in the standard range plus. These lights are gonna turn off eventually or you can press them. Here are the hazards. You can see them on the screen. And now the illumination here is fairly good. You can see these, you can see that. So, and you can see the rear, look at that. There's plenty of light. And now, if I open this one up, you can see this one's a little bit brighter. Very good. Cup holders are nicely illuminated when the light is on. And then there's a light here. So finally, the lights have decided to turn off. And now, again, you can see how this looks. You can see a little bit better of the arrows there. You can see better the buttons for the doors and the windows. And then this one dims, but it's still on. I like that. And the screen brightness adjusts by itself. So now you can see it's a little bit darker. These do not illuminate. And now you can see this light. So it's fairly good, but you don't drive with this open. So, and now to open this one up again, very nice. If you order those um, extra cubbies here and over here, then those would probably be blocking the light. Okay, glove compartment. You can see that, so it's very good illumination, white light, and it's practical. Now, uh, you're wondering the lights on the top. Okay, so let's see those, They're very bright. So they kind of illuminate everything. This is kind of good for a, um, vlogging I guess and now to the screen so um, one of the features I wanted to test so here says no copyright music just random music and I do hope it's not copyright so I wanted to show you it's kind of late I'm on the parking lot um, I wanted to show you the boombox feature and then we're gonna show you the lights so the boombox play current media and now if we go to the songs, you might hear it. So, so if I open the doors, let's see if you can hear that. So this is coming, I'm going to keep talking in case this gets copyright strike. You can hear that the sound is coming from the front here. So you can play the music on the outside, but once you turn it up, it's going to use the interior speakers as well. So I'm going to turn it up to the max. Still gonna die for what I 
So I'm gonna mute that. Uh, anyways, what I wanted to show you is that in the parking, you can play these speakers. It's like thunder, they're so loud, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know about this song, whatever it is, that's not something I listened to. I just wanted to demonstrate that uh, and not get a copyright strike. Um, so, and these are the speakers. So I can't really demonstrate that for long. They're still playing on the outside, so I have to turn that off. Uh, let me see, toy box, and that's it. You can program on your stationery uh, to have sounds on the horn. Like there's a, like a DJ. Let's see if we... <laughs> that's just crazy. And, um, sorry. And over here, you can have farts on the man on the inside. Or you can have them on the outside. So, I don't know why the music keeps coming back on. Because I don't want music. So, uh, you press this to mute. And now, uh, to press the brake, car immediately turns on. So, uh, one of the cool features is when you hop in, the car turns on. And you can see, well... Uh, you press once here, so it's already a dirty rain. I can see that I've, you can see the the, the, dirt, the dust from Sahara Desert coming to Europe. So the car is already dirty. So what what a waste of money. But uh, okay, so I'll buy the car, ha have the car clean for you. So this is the uh, normal beam. So I can't. Oh, there's a long beam. So here is the normal beam. Here is the uh, long beam. If we come a little bit closer, you can see better. There we go. There's a difference between the long beam and automatic long beam. It's very bright. I'm gonna cut in some video, but in person it's white-ish, cold, kind of bluish light. Very good. It illuminates stuff excellent. So you gotta see the night point of view and review where I'm gonna do a outside the city pitch black. And this we already showed you everything. So this is the maps uh, like standard uh, or without the traffic. And this is with the satellite on I kind of do like the satellite uh, finish here's the AC also has a night theme so um, that's it and one thing I wanted to mention but I'm gonna mention that in the driving part but this car has uh, auto hold automatically and it breaks when you release the accelerator pedal so that's one pedal driving um, I wanted to show you the reverse camera at night so it's this is the best graphics I saw on a camera in a car and this is your uh, steering projection. And if I lower the window, you can hear that reversing sound. Well, it's a little wet. So once you put it to drive, it switches off. And the mirrors uh, dip down in reverse. You see that, both of them. So that's cool. And one thing uh, that I really wanted to show, but I kind of forgot. So one interior detail um, is that there's no handles on the top in either way. So uh, let me just, so this would be like vlogging with the light on. So it's pretty good because it gives you a natural light, but you can see here that there are no handles and on the rear as well uh, on either side. So. That's a little thing when you want to adjust, you just want to grab, you know, but something like that, but it's not here. So, and if we turn on the light, it's a lot uh, harder to vlog. If you're a vlogger or inside the car, which uh, only, I guess, car viewers do sometimes. And um, that's about it. Uh, this is the part where I'm gonna wrap it up. So I hope you did like this. Let me just see if the lights are on automatic. Yep, they are. So uh, in order to turn the front fogs or the rear fogs the car needs to be on and there's no way fooling the car so i'd have to have some person sitting inside but i couldn't find anyone uh, this late so uh, but the fog lights are here and you have one on the rear so this is the car it looks the car will lock automatically turn the lights off but again just looks so gorgeous
And like the rear signature, I just wish that the um, turn signals were longer or dynamic. That would be really, really great. But that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, type them below. Thank you for watching. Uh, be a cool person, smash the like button. If you have any questions, type them below. If you like the video, find it informative, share it with your friends or Tesla forums. And if you're looking to buy a Model 3 or Model Y or any Tesla in the matter of fact, uh, if you want to reward my effort, uh, you can find my referral code below. So you and I get 1,500 kilometers or miles of free supercharging on Tesla network. So it'd be shame if you're looking for a new car to waste those. You can use someone else if you want to, but please use it so it helps. Just it's a shame to waste free supercharging miles because you pay as you go. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Stay safe on the road and at home. Bye.